crows up on top of that tree over there. I'm so anxious for a, a spring. I like to get out and, and film. every day, anytime the sun breaks through. I was over here the other day and uh, the groundhog came out from underneath this uh, uh, shop over here. That's my son, that's a wood shop right here. And uh, it's got all kind of nice tools in it. And, uh, a groundhog came out from under it and stood right over there. I, I think I'd have it in some pictures, some pictures of it. And it had got skinny. When it went on, when it went in there, it was uh, <laughs> fat. But it came out and it was kind of thin, you know, I guess it'd been hibernating. But whatever. I'm out here looking for the signs of a warmer weather. Down in Alabama. I guess I show people the place. I'm able to walk with a short pants. <laughs> I don't even have on, got on shorts today. That's a good, that's a good sign. Anyway, all these majestic trees that have grown up on a, on a, I say our property, <laughs> where we live. <laughs> you don't really own nothing, Harley, man, the temporary home we have here. Just walk around the place and show it to you. We've been, lived here a long time. Raised all my kids up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They can't wait either for spring. So, uh, I'll cut them a bunch of uh, bamboo and stuff like that. anyway it's amazing that's gonna be the chicken house over there But it's the country in the city right here. People aren't, you know, there's people all around, but uh, in our neighborhood, but uh, it seems like you know, everybody has a little bit of elbow room. Huh? I say our property, <laughs> but you have to pay taxes on it, so it's it's never yours. <laughs> Just don't pay the taxes, and uh, they keep going up every year. But uh, ours goes back there, Hawaii's. You know, never will use all of it. That's why this this next winter, I have my plans. I have in my plans a wood stove. If they don't outlaw them by then, excuse me, I'm gonna work a little bit while I'm moving. If they don't outlaw wood stoves by, by next year, I'm gonna have a, a wood heater so I can get warm. I remember uh, when I was a young man, we used to go up in the country 
funny. Quail, quail hunting up in the. I'm working a little bit here. <laughs> We used to have a, a, we used to go up in the country and uh, quail hunt. And uh, and uh, we'd walk all day, you know, through the woods, back, you know, just all over this place, way up on up on uh up in the country here and uh i remember especially we'd be frozen we'd come in this little uh country store after we had icicles hanging off our hats and uh and uh there'd be a pot belly stove there just red hot <laughs> and uh, pickle eggs and uh, sausage and different things sardines that you could get and uh, we came in that store and uh, there were some men sitting around talking <laughs> and they were uh, all around that pot belly stove and that stove heated that whole store even though it wasn't uh, an insulated building and it felt so good standing you know close to that uh pot belly stove like you know it would get red hot i'm talking about a great big pot belly stove <laughs> but anyway i want to show you my junk back right there i don't really want to but uh I have all my uh, my junk organized back there in the back. I go shopping there if I need something, the bone yard. But in the front yard, I'm very proud of the fact that there's not a gum wrapper even up there. We're civilized here in our uh, in our own way, you know. <laughs> but anyway, just want to show the place uh, a little bit. That God has provided they give us this day our daily bread place to stay give us this day don't say I'm going to go into the city and buy and sell and do this and that <laughs> unless you say if the Lord wills I will go do this and we'll go do that I bid guilty of that and find myself uh somewhere else uh, that I didn't plan on being if you know what I mean brothers and sisters I got to get a battery for that red truck that last freeze did it in oh yeah I didn't tell you what happened the other day what happened the other day I have been noticing that the, I just I've been noticing that the water bill hadn't come. But anyway, right under this pile here was a leak. And I had let it run all that time, you know. So we're gonna have a gigantic water bill. But I, I finally fixed it. I said I went up to the road up there and checked it when the meter was going. I said, I know everything's off, but the meter was using water. I searched everywhere for the leak. And uh, finally, I, like I said, the last thing I did was pray. <laughs> and, and, and I looked down and there was the leak. It had been running all that time. But anyway, so we're going to have a gigantic water bill this month. Probably uh, two months, and, but anyway, I think I, I believe I got it fixed. And this is uh, this boat I have that uh, is all you got to do is get the leaves out of it and find you a motor that runs, or get that one running good, and uh, you can be back on the river 
you know, again. Let me see. I have a riding lawnmower, but I decided I'm gonna use it. Well, here's my uh, outboard motor. Need some uh, tuning up. Need some uh, work. Right. <laughs> I'm not ready to do right now. Here's my uh, where I keep garbage or stray dogs. I put the garbage in there because uh, you don't want the uh, critters to get in it, you know, dogs to get in it. I put it in there until I, until I get it shipped off with the garbage. Sometime I get behind. But anyway, I just want to show the place. Good night, I'm running out of time. I did this video this morning. Oh yeah, I want to tell you about that. So you might as well put the uh, comment in this. Uh, I made the mistake of showing some my kids, my my kids when they were kids, and <laughs> so there's some kind of infraction I did about uh, when I uh, showed uh, childhood pictures. And they got some rule, I guess. I'm not sure, but they blocked the uh, they blocked the. Uh, comments so whatever comments you have on that video i put up this morning about uh job and and uh the, nobody knows the trouble i seen. put it on this one you know i don't think they're gonna block this one because there's no uh, i didn't break that infraction i got some infractions that, about putting uh children uh childhood pictures on there i don't know what it is Maybe that's right. I don't know. I don't know what the reason is, but they blocked it for some reason. They've done it before, and uh, it's. I think it, I went back and checked the thing, and it has something to do with that. You know, they determine if it's something. Uh, anytime you show pictures of all these people, those pictures I showed though, they grown. They grown now. <laughs> they all grown. Anyway. Just want to show you. Can't wait till I get out here and get ready to meet the. Uh, the I, had, I got cabin fever real bad, brothers and sisters. Now this light right here. This light right here. I had it. Uh, my wife had me uh, uh, putting it up, and uh, it's a really a Christmas light where you show it up in the, put it up, up, up in the tree like that and you shoot it straight up and that and it looks real pretty when people drive up for uh during the holidays so i put it here because i was too lazy to to put it back in the bar and it was working so i just hung it up here and tied a rope around it you will use that for a you make this into a this part this will be a, a field a play field when they get ready to play but anyway, just thought I'd show you. Home sweet home. Sweet home, Alabama. And uh, the sky is blue. And uh, anyway, that's all I can think of to say, except uh, put the comments in this one that you had for the other one. <laughs> that you had for the other one that was blocked by uh, some infraction I made. Anyway, peace and love, brothers and sisters, from this old boy down here in Alabama that never grew up.